hi guys and welcome to another video so in this video i'm gonna be talking about the windows package manager which i think is one of the best features on windows right now so to get this working uh you guys just need to do some things that are very easy to do so uh here we have some information about the windows package manager which is mainly used for developers developers but I think you guys, even if you don't code, this is a very interesting thing to have because it helps so much. So to have access to this, you guys need to go to the Microsoft store and you need to search up for app installer, app installer. So here we go. You guys need to install this. I don't know if you need some kind of special um, dependency or feature enabled on Windows to have access to this, but you guys can try it out. You guys can go to the App Store and install this to see if it works. When, you, when you've done that, you guys can go to, for example, a terminal. And you guys can run commands here to install prompt. So let's go with uh, Wingat. And we're going to go with search to search a package um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with a different i'm gonna go let's go with the command line because i can <laughs> increase the font and make it more visible so let's let's go with 36 okay it's better now so let's go with wingat search okay let's say i want to see something obs for example which is, i think is a good example so I'm not going to install OBS right now because I'm using to record this video. So if we've done that, let, let me just decrease a little bit. Let's go with 20. Okay. So here we got, let's go see. Okay. Let's try again. We can get search OBS. So here we've got a list of programs that match the search. So OBS, it's right here. So to install, I can start Prone by doing that. Let's search for Notepad. Notepad. And let's see what kind of programs do we have got. So we got Notepad++. Plus plus. Okay, let's install this one. So I could try to do just, just this. Or if the package is more specific, I could try to use the full name. I'm going to try this one. So to install problem, we're going to go with Wingat. Uh, install. And the name of the, the program, Q text, actually Q text pad. Okay. Um, okay. I, I need to be more specific. Because... Okay, let's copy, Winget, install, let's type that way, yeah, <laughs> so that didn't, that wasn't enough to install, we need to go with this one, so Winget, install, so I recommend you guys to use the full um, name of the package, some packages do work with just a simple name but this one i think is too generic to work so you need to pass the full path so now it's installing this q text it's gonna ask per for permissions to install and there you go it's done now if you're gonna go with t q notepad q notepad q text okay q text pad and we have this program installed on my computer with the terminal. So this is pretty neat, especially if you have uh, to install programs on Windows instead of going through a web page and searching for a program you can do directly through the terminal. So I think it's pretty neat and very useful. So if you guys like the video, don't forget to hit like uh, button and subscribe. And see you guys next time.